Hello, a very good evening to you. It's Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. Sunday night, Sunday the 29th of January 2017. Nothing gets past me, you know. It's lovely to see you. I have two different computer times tonight. One is saying it's 10 o'clock sharp right now, and the other saying that it's 9 59. So there you are. I will go with the 10 o'clock sharp. Welcome, welcome, welcome to one hour of superb scintillating information, education, and entertainment from me, Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster just for you, broadcasting globally, live on Facebook Live, the world's top global broadcast platform. Welcome, 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 I say. Lawrence L.D., hello there, Scotty McClue. We're watching in Stornoway, he says. Stuart Walker, Neil, James Logan's watching, dinky do to you, Joanne Menzies is watching, Dave Hems is watching, George Raffin's watching, Laurie L.D. Dev is watching up in Stornoway. Happy Sunday night, Scotty, says Ron Stewart, and a very happy Sunday night to you, Ron, and to all our viewers tonight. It's been a wonderful, wonderful week. Frank McElroy, evening, here as promised, says Frank. Paul Gordon Cobain, Gary Moyer, George Mullen, how you doing, Scotty boy, says George. Mick McFarlane's watching, Angie Thompson, Michael McGuigan, John Paul Preston, Julianne Scott, uh, Laura Lawson, good evening, Scotty. John Paul Preston says hi. Hi to all of you and a very, very, very big thank you from me, Scotty McClue, to all of you for such a wonderful week. Almost 10,000. We're just coming up to 10,000 of you. Watch the program this week. Hi, Scotty, says Joanne. Good evening, Scotty, says Hugh Miller. Richard Eels watching. Dinky do to you, Richard, a very fine fellow. Evening, McClure. What's on the agenda? Says Neil James Mills. If I miss your message, stick another one in. Hello, says Ashley Smedley. Joanna K. Jackson. Hello, Scotty. She's in Maine in the United States of America. Hello, Joanna K. Jackson, and a very, very warm welcome to the Scotty McClure massive, mighty mega phone in. We're live on Skype. That's a lovely twin set you're wearing tonight. My dad would love that, says Angie Thompson. Yes, my old drawing blazer, all here for you folks. Good evening, Scotty, says Mick. And uh, evening, Scotty, says Derek McGonigal. Derek McGonigal in Glasgow. And Derek informs me that he's got a mobile flooring company that comes to you. What about that? Vicky Navarro. Hi, Scotty. A big kiss. Hi to Vicky Navarro. Many, many congratulations on you hanging around with that wonderful man, Kev Seed Vicky. You are the luckiest woman in the world. Having said that, He's the luckiest man in the world, and he knows it. So there you are, Jim Stephen Gibbs watching. Scotty, did your tail out of a ton of material? I see the jacket and tie match, absolutely, and the trousers as well, and the socks. I wouldn't go any further than that. Good evening, Southers, Douglas William Bryce. Say hi to the wife, Tracy, says Albert McSquared. Of course, Albert, dinky do to you. Catherine Scully says hi from Paisley. Now, I was on this morning, guys. I know you're very, very busy. There's a lot of constraints on your time. But to put you in the picture, I was on this morning for the promo. If you get a chance to watch it, do please do that. And if you don't get a chance to watch it, share it. Share it anyway. Share, share, share. Share Scotty says Ron Stewart. Excellent. Massive mega mighty phone in. Indeed, says Richard Eyre. Tremendous. And uh, too much detail in the material, says George. Do you think so? I, I think it's very smart. There we are. The shoulders are good. Do you see? They've got the shoulders going there and everything. So very, very classy. It came from Oxford, by the way. It's an Oxford blazer. None of your nonsense there. Ho, ho. That's put your gas at a peep, hasn't it? And uh, also, Fiona Summers is watching. A very fine lady. Hello, Fiona. Uh, Jenny Cart is watching. Andy Rutherford's watching. Andy, I hope you're strong and well and that you're getting better all the time. Uh, the Phil and Holly, says Gordon Riley. Dinky do, Gordon. This morning, says Gordon. Yes. I was telling you about this morning, shared, says Mick McFarlane. Thank you for that. I was telling you all about this morning, and we had a wonderful, wonderful program this morning, the promo. You'll see it. And um, please try and watch it, because although I say it myself, and you know I am a very humble man, uh, it is a fabulous uh, program. It really is. It's well worth a look, and it tells you the lot. Looks like a school tie, Scotty. 
Uh, you might have something there, Craig. Yes, dinky do. You're on the trail. Sniff, sniff. Thank you, Sherlock. Are you starting early tonight, Scotty? Says Joanna K. Jackson. No, Joanna K. I've got it that it's ten o'clock sharp here, and um, also I've got two times the computer was running at ten o'clock when I came on, and my uh, other time was um i think it was just coming up to 10 o'clock so i hope we're all right ever thought of having the show earlier 10 p.m on a sunday's late for a few says guys Rolly jones guys you tell me when you want the show just say i mean it's traditional scotty McClure starts at 10 o'clock when he's doing an evening show good evening mr bond you should do a show with anita manning that would be brilliant dinky do 50 bid 50 i have bid 50, 55, I'll take 5, 60 in the corner. Thank you, sir. It's your bid. Are you bidding, sir? 60 here. Bid's against you, sir. 65 here. 70 here. Are you still in? 70. Are you in on the telephone? Thank you very much. Dinky do to you. Bid on the telephone. Bid on the internet. 80, 85. 90 pounds. At 90 pounds? 90 pounds. I'll take 10 if it helps. At 100 pounds, are you all out? Sold to the gentleman right there. Your bids are well done. That's an excellent buy. Moving on, lot 96. Showing here. Right, there we are. Watch what you're saying. Paul has just joined us, says George Muscle. David Russell's watching. It's from Oxfam, Scotty, not Oxford. Hope you're well. Good to see you back, says Alex McCafferty. Absolutely. And uh, just wondered if you get a bigger audience with an earlier show, says Gaz Rowley Jones. This is Facebook Live now. You will get an audience any time if your show's worth doing. 10,000 people have watched the show this week. You can go and add it all up, include the Facebook numbers, etc. 10,000 of you. Having said that, we did do a Rabbi Burns special on Burns Night, funnily enough, on the 25th, on Wednesday night this week, and you will see Scotty McClure addressing the haggis. All the shows are up on Facebook, so there's no excuse for missing a moment of Scotty McClure or you miss a moment of life. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, thank you very much, all the sharing that's going on. Jen Pinnett's watching. Yes, says George Mullen. Looking top-notch tonight, Mr. McClure. Thank you very much, Frank. Excellent stuff. Paul McGregor's watching. And uh, everybody is with us now. Keep sharing, folks. Type into your Facebook. Put in Scotty McClure is live right now. Scotty McClure is live the new. And this morning, what was marvellous, we did a quick tour of the world with somebody from Sydney and Australia. Tonight, we've got Joanna in Maine in the United States. It's tea time in the United States. Tell everybody about this programme, because the programme is building and building and building. 100,000 of you have seen the combined programming. So there you are, 100,000. We have a show, folks. Who dares wins? I say... Evening, folks. How are you doing, Scotty? Says David Steele. Dinky do to you, David. Lovely to hear from you. Darren Kelly, are you watching the top man? Scotty McClue, says Ron Stewart. Alex Duff is watching. Dinky do, Alex. Lovely to have you with us. So much to talk about tonight. So little time to do it in. We have to finish in one hour's time. But what I have to tell you, if you want to contribute, you know you can contribute at PayPal at www.scotty-mcclue.com. If you don't want to contribute via PayPal, I've set up a GoFundMe page yesterday. So we're about, uh, I don't know, 25 hours, 30 hours away from setting up the GoFundMe page. If you go to GoFundMe, put in Scotty McClue or the Scotty McClue Show and stick anything in that you've got a fiver, a pound, a tenner, it doesn't matter, anything. Now, you'll see that there's a high goal set financially there. That is intentional. Once you've finished falling about laughing, can you please say a big congratulations to my sister, Jana, a, a brother-in-law, Sean, who got married on Thursday, says Joanna Menzies. Yes, I can. A big congratulations to sister, Jana, and brother-in-law, Sean, who got married on Thursday. So, if you want to contribute to the program, we're going to raise money to improve the program. We maybe increase the frequency of the program. And also, the reason the bar is set so high, we may try and acquire other media assets.
get my meaning, know what I'm talking about. Remember, this is Scotty McClure's Jubilee year. We've been broadcasting live on all the top stations in the United Kingdom and beyond for 25 years. I have been in the business 40 years this year. So I joined when I was two. Started my first radio station when I was nine. Uh, I go duck me page, <laughs> says Gordon Riley. I've been promoting you all day. I need to be your agent. I need an agent's fee, says George Raffin. Only joking, he says. Sorry I'm late, big man. A wee dab. Elliot Seth Faber. Dink you do, Elliot. Lovely to have you with us. And that's what it's all about. So there you are. Is your brother in London, Elliot? I ask you. Uh, David Jimison's watching. Get you a new outfit, says Gordon Riley. Do you like it, Gordon? All matching. All matching. None of your rubbish here. My wife and myself have just found out we have something in common. We got married in the same day, says George Mullen. It's fantastic. I haven't spoken to my wife for 32 years, George. It's not that I don't love her. I just don't want to interrupt her. So there you are. Hi, Scotty. Say hello to the Moss Park gang. Dinky do. Everybody in Moss Park. Do you know the um, Corker Hill Road? Do you know the Balgoni Road? My auntie used to stay in Balgoni Road. Uh, he sure is, says Elliot. Fantastic. You tell him, Elliot. Scotty McClue says he's a very brilliant man. So there you are. Hello to the Moss Park gang. We see Andrew Thompson and 17 others have just shared the video. Fantastic. Keep sharing and sharing and sharing, folks, and building and building and building this wonderful audience. You will see the numbers, but then you will be amazed at how it actually works. Almost 10,000 this week have joined us. Tremendous. That is a start. I think you'll find if we get this absolutely right, and we will, and if all of you can contribute something to the funding at GoFundMe, you can see the, the total going up. There was 25 quid in it already. Sorry about last week, Scotty. Busy. I'm here this week. Sandy Howden. I should think so. You are an important man. A very, very important man. You may talk an absolute load of nonsense. Nonsense at times. But you're a very important man, Sandy Howden. And I am a big fan of yours. But there we are. But that's between us. Barbara Ann Haig is watching. Barbara Ann Haig, you're a fine lady. I follow all your posts on Facebook with great interest, as I do all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for all your shares, thank you for your cooperation, and thank you for joining us for the most fantastic piece of television that you will ever see this week. Think about it. You've had your telly on, apart from the films and all the rest of it. Look at the rubbish you get on here. This is interactive. I'll bet you your telly's not. Uh, can you say hi to Pamela, Kevin and Martin, who are listening in, please, says Leslie Ann Mingus. Leslie Ann Dinky Do, Julianne Scott, can you give a big shout out to my daughter Annie Hughes, who's in London, and she's homesick. Annie Dinky Do, tell everybody in London, and this is very important, that the whole of London should be watching Scotty McClure on Facebook Live on a Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp, just for you, Dinky Do. And the reason for that is I got in touch with uh, a television station down there, and I said, would you like to take the program? They said, no. I said, why not? Because you have a Scottish accent. Oh, right. Uh, you're going to need a bigger boat for us all, Captain, says George Raffin. Sorry to go duty calls tomorrow. Catch you soon, Scotty. Have a great night. That was who? Let me just nip back to see. I can do this. I found out this morning. Frank McElroy. Thank you, Frank. All the best. What are the topics tonight? I hear you all screaming at your devices, at your PCs, and your big computers, your mainframes, and your phones, and your tablets, and all that stuff, and your granny and your auntie. Uh, so there we are. What we're talking about tonight, and this is just one of the subjects, I don't want to get too heavy on it, but um, Brexit. Should the UK, if uh, Mrs May is determined to leave the EU, should the UK have Westminster leaving the EU, Holyrood remaining, because they're different culturally, remaining within the EU and wait for it. Here's the bonus for us all. What you could actually have then is that uh, if you want to do deals with the EU, you do them through Scotland. And if companies are leaving uh, Britain, the United Kingdom, because they uh, don't want to come out of Europe, they can relocate in Scotland and they can account 
in Scotland. Am I a solutionist or what? Woo! Get this guy here. Uh, so there you go. Ian Walker's watching. Dinky do. Ian, lovely to hear from you. Only 27% want a never end them before breakfast, says Sandy Howden. Sandy, you could add 50% to that. It was 72% that wanted Indiref 2. Now I would think you've just shoved that up to 77%. So virtually it is carried. The motion is carried. If we have Indiref 2 right now, we are out of the old ball and chain. Fantastic stuff. So there you go. So Sandy, you've come to the right place. You're talking to Scotty McClue. Scotty McClue knows his stuff. As you know, I am no great nationalist. I am apolitical, unlike yourself, who still support a mob that went whoo, right down the plug hole because they never backed independence for Scotland. Tut, 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 I say. And of course, we had a former Prime Minister came up and made that speech. I think it was a ridiculous speech and put the fear into the pensioners. They'd lose their pension if they became independent, which was nonsense, nonsense, nonsense. Anyway, your mob have paid the price, Sandy, and that's what happens for not uh, keeping up with the Joneses. So there you are, get that sorted. Right, this is not moving now because I put it backwards, so I will do that. So that's what I'm talking about. Here we are, you're lagging a wee bit. Uh, it means your connection's slow. My son told me that, says Angie. I think what's happened, Angie, is that so many people are wanting to watch the program that it's probably buffering a bit. So there you are. Alex Robertson's watching, a very fine actor. I think we should leave the UK first and uh, do everything that's beneficial to Scotland. We should leave the Union also. Uh, Giuseppe Bacchetti has just shared the video. Thank you. Did you see Theresa May with Trump? So there you are. He uh, wouldn't give her a minute to talk, says Angie. No, absolutely. Although he is a big talker. I was talking to somebody the other day who apparently is at dinner um, with Donald Trump, and apparently he talks and talks non-stop. So there you go. Oh, you should come and have dinner at the McClues. Uh Scotty, can you stop the missus? Scotty, do you think we should get rid of the SFE and SPL and turn them into one body to govern over Scottish football? Well, yes. Absolutely. I mean, Scottish football should be all powerful. Still, think of the poppies thing and all that sort of thing. Say hi to Ben, who's watching from Spain, Scotty, says George. Excellent stuff. Julianne's watching. Love Scotland, says Peter Ewing. Absolutely. Scotty, Scotland loves you, Peter. Quick swig of tea. <coughs> Seize the day. You'll see that upside down. Mm. Or do you see it? Can you read that, guys? Seize the day. Is it looking fine? Tell me if you could read it uh, the right way up. Scotty, uh, May's running about like Del Boy, knowing the market's shutting and she's banned from the big supermarkets. And Rodney uh, uh, is the plonker who's went AWOL. Uh, we mean Boris. Scotty, do people with low emissions know their car tax is shooting through the roof this year? Time to tax the cyclist, Scotty, says Sandy Howden, I've just taxed the car. It was an absolute fortune. Share, 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 share. Can every single one of you share the Facebook Live, folks? Very, very important. And uh, we will do that. Uh, it's a share point. Uh, I thought I might not hear about Trump on the show. I can't escape it, says Joanna K. Jackson. Joanna K. It's all over the world. So there you are. It's lovely to have America with us watching Scotty McClue right now. So Joanna Kay, spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live and Facebook live at 10 saying dinky do to you. Hi, America. Hi, my fellow Americans. I can tell you, Joanna K. Jackson, that had things been differently, if Scotty McClue was an American citizen, you may well have had me as your president because we did a survey over there we had trump we had hillary and we had mcclue and mcclue scored about 76 percent so there you go president mcclue carpe diem captain absolutely sees the day scotty trump should remember the alamo before picking a fight with the mexicos <laughs> the mexicans Hollywood won't vote in favour of Brexit because the people of Scotland never voted to leave. And also the SNP, sorry, the SNP MPs at Westminster, 56 of them, won't vote in favour of Brexit. We need independence now, says David Lafferty. 
Very, very good, David. Absolutely. I shared, says Joanna K. Jackson. I thank you, Joanna K. That's fabulous. Howdy, America, y'all, says Alex Duck. Howdy, howdy there, partners across the pond in the good US of A. Angela Goodlitz watching. Welcome, Angela. Dingy doo, I say for me, Scotty McClue. Folks, if you get a chance to catch up with the library, I foolishly, by accident, deleted a video I did last night. You will see it. It's back up again in raw form. I'm wearing a blue jumper and it talks about GoFundMe. So there you go. So if every single one of you can have a look at the GoFundMe page, if you've got a spare pound or a five or a ten or 50 quid, a grand, a couple of million, stick it in there right now. It makes it nice and easy to do it. And of course, it doesn't charge you. And the lovely thing is that uh, it will allow us to improve the program and get things moving and get something of this quality. I mean, uh, you know, terrestrial television and radio has become very much a jukebox, loud, loud adverts and all the rest of it. And you don't get a chance to watch the program. So we're trying to produce a content that's advert free, although I can see the day when everybody will want to advertise on Scotty McClue. Everybody will come to Scotty McClue, all businesses, and say, Scotty, could you advertise for us? Can you do the voiceover? Can you stick it up in your show? All that sort of thing. And I will have to say, yes, yes, dinky do, dinky do to you. Not a problem. Need to go. Last bit of prelim study back for the Cheerio song. Says, who? Who was that? There we are. Uh, that was Elliot. Excellent. Elliot, all the best with your prelims, La. I live them all the time and make sure everybody gets them. Your education is so important. So there you go. And uh, we need independence now, says David Kane. T2. Thoughts, says Gordon Riley. Very, very interesting, Gordon. And uh, all the best, Elliot. See you all. Bye-bye. Good luck with the exams. Uh, shared, says Derek McGonagall. Great, Derek. <coughs> Pardon me. That's fantastic. Frank McConnell's watching. Dinky-doo to Frank. And a very, very warm welcome to Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on the big one. Now, guys, can I thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart and the heart of my bottom for uh, sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing. Too much information. Uh, don't go there. Sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing this week. That is tremendous. Thank you for putting up with me with sharing and sharing and sharing and sharing to you. Of course, that is tremendous as well. But keep sharing and go on your Facebooks and actually type a little message and say, I'm watching Scotty McClue live right now. Are you dinky do need to go? Uh, it says uh, one or two people. You're dashing, dashing, dashing. If you want the show at nine o'clock, we will change the time. There's no problem with that. David Lafferty and 29 of you have just shared the video. Thank you, 29 of you. Share, 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 share. And it just lets everybody know and get them talk the show up because we're relying on all of you at the moment. This is our show. It's not mine. It's not yours. It's not. It's everybody's. It belongs to the universe, this program. And it is massive. I thank you for that. If I am a little bit slow tonight, then hopefully the audio is running in time. So there you are. But if you're seeing things a little bit slowly, it's just because we're overwhelmed. That's what I can tell you. Uh, so there you go. Um, excellent stuff. Very, very busy on here tonight. I stopped that. So stop. There's Gordon Sterling. There we are. We'll start it again. I've not seen it yet, Gordon Riley. A tune for your squeeze box, Scotty. Cheers, says Jim Stephen Gibb. We will do, Jim. We'll get a tune out of the squeeze box. Barbara Ann Haig, we could be exporting much more from Scotland, Scotty. So much of our goods, whiskey, is going down south. The tax on it is going to the UK government. Isn't about time we diverted this and exported more from? See more, she says. Oh, wow. Uh, exported more from Scotland. There is so much uh, we have. We could be doing. There's so much Scotland has to offer. We have a majority. We should stay in the EU. Uh, from Scotland. If our first minister did not at least try to get a good deal for Scotland regarding Brexit, 
so many people would be disappointed she's doing her job doing it very well if i may say it's a pity other parties in Scotland are doing very little for the best interests of Scotland. The problem is your other parties in Scotland are unionist parties. And the big question that I have is what are unionist parties doing in a Scottish Parliament? Hmm, bit strange. Um, did you start as a DJ, Scotty, says George Mullen? No, George, I started as an ITV newscaster. And I was watching it, a big thick shock of black hair and big glasses. And I used to pop up and read the news with a very, very serious face. So there you are. I used to read the news. I'll say, good evening. Here is the news. And then I'd finish. That's our news. Our next news at four o'clock. There you are. Now, um, go see to it, says George. God it says God, and I beg your pardon. So there you are. No, I didn't start as a DJ. Of course, I have DJed. Um, more for a bit of fun, very, very high listening figures on Scotty McClure DJs. It's tremendous because uh, there's a lot of fun involved. And I think that's missing from radio at the moment in general. Uh, radio used to be tremendous fun. That's why you tuned into a tremendous company. And what I was loving this morning about this program is how we are global. We're international. We're national and we're also local. And Anna said, we've got somebody here from Sydney in Australia and then we had a chat from Govan in Glasgow. So we are local television, we are local radio, we are national television, we are national radio, we're international television and we're international radio and we are global television and global radio all rolled into one. How fantastic is that? That's why I say, it's time we took back the powers from Westminster to Holyrood. So they're all pouring in here, my goodness me. And uh, Gary Cross in there. Fantastic stuff. I'll start this going again. I stopped it to see what was going on. I didn't see what Gordon Stirling said. But of course, Gordon, as you know, that's no loss. How's it going, mate? Says John Paul Murray. Dinky do. You top man. It is going absolutely dinky do, John Paul Murray. And what a fantastic fellow you are. Very fine fellow there. Highly, highly intelligent man. Marvellous stuff. Sandy Howden, Scotty. My local MSP had a parliament discussion about the size of a Toblerone. Ooh, Toblerones are big, Sandy. You and I are paying for that. Of course we are. It's fantastic. And it is value for money. Anything to do with the Scottish Parliament, great value for money. Alex Duff and 31 others have shared the video. Alex, dinky do, share, 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 folks. What's the time saying here? I have to peer forward because of the lights. Uh, 22, 27. Is that right? Check your clocks. Yes, 22, 27. I'll need to put it up in front of me like we used to do the old days. You had the clock in front of you on television. Tremendous. Uh, so there we are. Of course we're paying for it, Sandy. And what a bargain it is. It's like paying for the monarchy 52 pence a year. How good is that? And it's worth billions to the economy. Um, all right, toddle, says uh, John Paul. There we go. He's toddling on. Fantastic stuff. Ron Stewart says we are one big family. Yes, we are, Ron. We are one big global family. And we come together for the Scotty McClure Show on Sunday night at 10 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time. 10 o'clock sharp. Wonderful stuff. So there we are. I shall just... 22.29, somebody's put for me. Tremendous. Thank you very much for that. Ah, 22. Right, I'm at 22.28. That explains it. Uh, the news is, as always... Nothing to see here, says William Shepherd. Uh, it's time we took back the power from Westminster to Holyrood and time to trade with our friends in the European Union and not the little British Union, says David Lafferty. Well, of course, you've got to remember that Scotland is essentially an independent country. It's only been part of this uh, UK Union for uh, 300, and, uh, 300 years, hasn't it? Yes. Yes, exactly. 310 years. So they are just doing my math. Oh, you can laugh. But when you're, when you're doing it and broadcasting at the same time. So they are 310 years this year. 1707, the Union of the Scottish Parliaments. And of course, it wasn't by consent of the people. It was a few of the aristocrats had gone bust fighting each other. 
and they said give us some money and we'll give you the country it wasn't theirs to give actually so probably you'd find that the whole thing is uh, on a bit of a shaky nail legally anyway and i would seriously any experts watching uh, look into the legal setup of the treaty of union um, the Act of Union. Look into the legal setup. It's quite flimsy. So there you are. And also, Scotland should be treated on an equal basis to the UK. And that needs to be got across. Uh, so there you are. Very much appreciated. And uh, you uh, now know the moral now. What's that, Ian? I don't know what you've put there. That's Ian Walker, but it's a bit confusing what he's actually put there. Gary Crossan, or Crossan even. How many Unionist MPs does Scotland have at Westminster, Scotty? We need to be an independent country now. Sooner, better, rather than later, says Tony Henry. Aye, yes. Spell your own second name wrong, Dad, says Amy Crossan. <laughs> She's having a go at her dad for spelling the family name wrong live on Scotty McClure. Dinky do, I say, of course. So, so much to talk about. So, we're talking about that. Should the uh, UK leave the EU? Should Scotland then stay in the EU? Separate parliaments, the EU parliament, the EU parliament, the um, UK parliament, and the Scottish parliament all separate parliaments and uh, i think they should be making the decisions there but i think of course staying in the eu for scotland i did vote leave at the time i don't mind wearing my heart on my sleeve but i feel now that i was conned because um the people who got me to vote leave were misconstruing the truth they said that billions of pounds would be put into the nhs the second we left the EU, and of course, that hasn't happened. Spell your own second name wrong, Dad. Yes, of course. Of course! What's Sandy Howden saying here? Giving me nonsense, really. Um, Scotty, we were serfs over 310 years ago. We've only been free since Labour took over after the war. <laughs> Sandy, you make me laugh. You are so funny. Yes, Labour were wonderful after the war, and there was a lot of wonderful things that Labour did. Old Wilson wasn't too popular, mind you, I have to say. He wasn't too popular with the powers that be. But uh, no, no, Labour, I'm not taking away from what Bevan did and all the rest of it in the uh, 1948, the NHS. I'm not taking away anything from that, Sandy. The only problem is you're living right then you're living in 1948 you could have attended my parents wedding in 1948 i've a good mind to go and get the picture and show you my parents wedding in 1948 so there you go um what's your thoughts on the story going around social media about hollywood threatening to go and strike over trump being president says mick mcfarlane well actors are an interesting lot of course and uh, you see them when they're playing somebody else when you see them as themselves uh, as i say they're usually a very very interesting lot the only people that don't believe they are brilliant as themselves are the actors themselves that's why they're so happy playing other parts and playing them very very well um poor old um, sir john hart who died yesterday a wonderful man great man john hart you of course will remember him as elephant man heartbreaking story heartbreaking story anthony hopkins as the doctor that took the elephant man in and looked after him anthony hopkins another wonderful actor sir anthony hopkins and um also sir john gilgood uh, so there you are it's interesting they were all knighted um at, probably at different times of course but sir john hart um, Sir Anthony Hopkins and Sir John Gilgood. And Johnny Gilgood was a, a, a marvellous man. He was actually a very, very funny man, <clears throat> a very, very nice actor. A friend of mine was acting with him, and he came up, he said, um, I've got all the notes for that, Louis. I played that part. You're very welcome to them. And he had this wonderful voice. You'll see him in Elephant Man standing at the top of the stairs as the superintendent of the hospital. And when uh, the man who thought he was Elephant Man's owner turned up and said, I shall go to the authorities. Then you hear Sir John's marvellous voice. Go, go to the authorities then and see where that gets you. Oh, fantastic stuff. Sir John Gilgood, the great Sir John Gilgood, a very great theatrical family. He was, I think, the nephew of the great Ellen Terry. 
Um, what's your thoughts on, on that? So there you are. There's my thoughts on it. Make um, actors, I say, they are a great bunch of people. I keep stopping this year. See, one of my relatives in Northern Ireland's watching your broadcast now, says Martin McWilliams. If you're watching over in the old country, I say to you, dinky do, dinky do, and a very warm welcome to the program. Lovely to have you with us from uh, from Northern Ireland there. That's marvellous. Right, uh, Councillor Henry Anderson's watching. Very fine fellow. Scotty, you talk shh. I don't know what that is, so there you are. Is Scotland such a dream in England? Why do they fight so hard to keep the Union, says David Jimison. Truth is, they can't afford to lose us. Time for India Ref 2. This is the truth, of course. You speak verity, David. They can't afford to lose us. And all this talk of a black hole, £40 billion, you just withhold the levy and say, we give you £40 billion a year to, to squander, Westminster. If you don't mind, we'll hang on to that. Any wee black holes that we've got, we will stuff them full of the money that we have kept from paying to you. So there we go. And uh, that's David Buckley. He's saying, Scotty, you talk shoo, shoo. I think he means superb stuff. Fiona Mora Graham is watching. Uh, love, hate, best ever TV Irish program. Get it watched. Get it watched, Scotty. I won't tell you again. So there you go. Fantastic. Fiona Mora Graham is in Orkney. Fiona Mora joined us this morning. And fantastic it was. David Buckley says, Labour are dead in Scotland, all but, uh, I would say, they're on life support, so the machine could be switched off any time, and that's because they didn't back Scotland. Um, had I been the leader of the Labour Party in Scotland at the time of the independence vote, I would have waited until as late as possible and then said to Westminster, guys, sorry to do this to you, I am a man of great integrity, I would never ever stab anybody in the back, but I have to tell you that we're going alone now and we're backing independence. So there you go. And there would have been no point in sending a former prime minister up to make what I call a ridiculous speech and put fear into pensioners. Uh, is Westminster not just winging it like the rest of us? Well, Scotland's not winging it, I'll tell you. Miss Sturgeon knows exactly what she's talking about. But I do get the feeling we do have an unelected prime minister in Westminster. And I do get the feeling that, yes, Westminster is winging it a bit. So there you are. If we leave, what's the benefits? If we stay, what's the benefits? Because it's like no one knows now, says Angie Thompson. My sister's a nurse. She's had to leave her job because her pay was cut and her hours more. I'm sorry about that. Thank your wonderful, wonderful sister for doing a tremendous job as a nurse for the NHS. So there you go. And of course, she should be getting her money increased. So you're right, Angie. Nobody's actually coming up with the plan and saying, there's the actual hard and fast figures. And they should do. It's very, very easy to do. But you need to do the figures as if Scotland was an independent country, and then you'd have to go on that. Uh, so there you are. So you'd be what we call selling on the figures. No, Scotty McClure. The SNP are pushing people over to the... This is just coming up. Oh, come on. Sticky tonight. The SNP are pushing people over to the... I'll have to wait till it comes up. Lost in the mist, says Michael McGuigan. Absolutely, Michael. Ian, zip it says David Buckley. Tune from the squeeze box. Where is the squeeze box? I ask you. No, no. Better idea. Sip of tea first. <laughs> mm. Seize the day. Seize the day. Do you see that the right way up, guys? Let me know. Um, the council, can we start on them yet, says George? No, this is not a knocking shop. We do not start on the council. We're not here for people to vent their bile, to empty their bile duct. Uh, so many people do that. So we're not actually here for that. All under one banner. Uh, so there you are. See you there, Scotty. We'll see what's coming up. Would you say the first Scottish referendum was won by Scare? The first Scottish referendum. Do you mean going right back to William Wallace? Is that what you're talking about there? When you say first Scottish referendum. 
Now, folks, if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live. We are the programme, the world-class TV programme just for you. You're going to see a lot of big differences quite soon in, uh, in, in the media because something like Facebook Live is huge. It is powerful. It is tremendous. And it's a wonderful, wonderful platform. Yes, says George Mullen. I say that too. Here's the uh, squeeze box, guys. I'll just show you. There it is there. make sense of that get it down notation musical notation uh, all under one banner independence um what's going on here stop your crying uh, independence march in glasgow on the 6th of may 2017 see you there scotty says tony henry hollywood going to strike because of president trump i think you could make a movie out of that says david lafferty fantastic how do you think mcclue would go in a movie would you like to see scotty mcclue in a movie See what you think about that. And uh, Hollywood, yes, Andrew Mingus, Andrew Menzies. Uh, Wallace was a terrorist, went down to York and never got a what? Excellent. Great wee tune. Cheers. It's all going on here. This is going bananas. Uh, I've never seen the elephant man, uh, says Alex Duff. Alex, it, it will have you in tears. It's, it's absolutely tragic. Uh, not that anyone asked. Well, yes, of course, uh, everybody's asking. Everything goes on here. The man with the bonnet done it, says David Buckley. Uh, Scotty, does anyone get a care allowance for you? <laughs> I love it. Did I go to the march, Scotty? Nobody goes. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we see. I loved that. An old lady at the supermarket one day, and the place was absolutely heaving. You could hardly get moving for people. And she said, turns to her daughter and says, See, this place is that busy. That's why nobody comes here. And she's telling them off. So there we go. Alex, not that anyone asked, go try and see the elephant man, but it is, you know, take a wee box of hankies with you. <clears throat> and Sir John Hutt, just wonderful, just absolutely fabulous. Michelle Buckley, lol, says Michelle. Absolutely great fun. Now, one man's terrorist, another man's freedom fighter. So there you go. You are quite right. Um, you know, it is very, very strange. And uh, I remember when the IRA blew up Lord Mountbatten, I was thinking they blew up the one man in the world who actually had massive, massive experience of, um, of politics and people wanting to be independent because he was the last Viceroy of India. And when India gained its freedom in 1947, it was Lord Mountbatten that looked after all of that. So there you are, a wonderful, wonderful man. God rest him. Lovely man. And I remember having a naval meeting that night, actually. Um, I sat in a committee, and uh, I remember going to a naval meeting that night, and it was just, there was just silence from the committee there. Um, wonderful, wonderful man. And uh, he would have been able to uh, to talk fantastic stuff to talk wonderful things and all that sort of stuff and it just says that uh, nothing is ever gained by that kind of behavior the same with mr gandhi poor old mr gandhi when they shot him in 1948 just a piece of nonsense just shocking 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 nothing gets solved by that and remember there's only one race the human race and we're all members of it. Everyone smiles in the same language. So there you go. So that's that's my message to, to Mr. Trump. Yeah, I can tell you that for nothing. Right. If you're watching right now, Dinky Doo, a very warm welcome to you. Now, what we've had there, um, no, you won't fill up now. Pipe down, says Frank McConnell. A shout out to Tammy, Tamia Scotty says John Rafferty. Dinky do, John, no problem. Father Ted's on more force, says George. Good, good. He'll have a run for his money tonight, I can tell you that. Yes, yes, says Peter Ewing. Nobody knows what you're talking about. Would you agree with Mikhail Gorbachev about the world edging closer to war? Well, of course, big, big money 
when you have a recession, goes in search of troublemaking because they need to up their money. A lot of war is to do with unprecedented greed. You know, people with a lot of money uh, get very, very insecure at times because what if they lost their money? Who would they be? They're known by their money. Who would they be without their money? Talking about big money, of course, you will see I've got a GoFundIt page. So if you're a Scotty McClue fan and you feel you can stick a fiver or a ten or a twenty quid or fifty quid or whatever into that, go fund it and get on there. That's what it's called. Go fund it. The page will pop up. Put in Scotty McClue. And if you want to stick in a fiver or a ten or something, that would be great. I've set the 